<laughs> this is gonna be fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Steve, Dave. Yeah, I, last night uh, was the True TV upfronts, which an upfront is what happens is the network pre-sells the ad time. They throw a big party, huge party. They rented the Best Buy Theater in, in Times Square. And they invite all the companies. Like They say to the companies, if you want to buy – uh, a minute on Impractical Jokers. Now it'll cost you $300,000. If the show goes on the air and it's a hit, it's going to cost you a million and a half. So they try and sell all the advertising up front. So they hired Maroon 5. It's a fucking, the whole thing's a surreal experience because everybody there knows who you are already. They've all seen the show. They're all either like the show or don't like the show. But I had what could only be described as the closest thing in my life to a homosexual experience last night, to a gay experience. Really? <laughs> yeah. It was, they made you it do was stuff. Back, it was like an S and M party. It wasn't no, but Maroon Five. It was like that fucking eyes wide shut. <laughs> Quit walking around with a mask. On. Yeah, it is funny because everybody there is wearing like three thousand dollar Armani suits. Like it's fucked up. Like it's like to the nines. And I showed up in a in a t shirt with a soccer ball on it and uh, an Adidas tracksuit top, jeans and 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 my sneakers, my Adidas sneakers. Did you're, you need an idea? You're ID? a real man. I mean, you're like a, you kept you keep the real. It, yeah, you know, you're an everyday man. Yeah. People, some, some working class. Yeah, like the boss. They love it. They, they, they're real happy with it. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, but Maroon Five played it. They hired Maroon Five to play. Um, which is that's got to cost a lot. Are they popular? Oh oh my god, they're like one of them. Um, pop music like uh, sensitive. Who would you liken it to? Um, (laughs) one of their bands that like you've probably never heard of. Yeah, like a Coldplay type music. Yeah, although Coldplay sucks, I'm not gonna say Maroon Five sucks because of my experience with the drummer of Maroon Five. Matt Flynn is a drummer. Okay, so what happened? So what happened was is they hire Maroon Five to play the the show and to play the True TV upfronts, and it's uh Stacy, my friend Stacy, who's been here several Mm -hmm. times, uh, loves Maroon Five. She's like, thanks. So I said, well, you can come, come with me. I got told by True TV, we can't bring someone because you, you guys are the only talent coming to this thing and other shows are already pissed off about that. And then if you bring someone, they'll get pissed off about that. <laughs> so, so I didn't, so I didn't bring her, which turned out to be complete bullshit because from the second I got there, I was, it, we, we were treated like rock stars. I could have done it, anything. There was no waiting on lines. There was no nothing. People were just. I want to fuck the drummer in Maroon Five right now. <laughs> Bring yeah. me his ass. I need a story for tomorrow on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he's so his name's Matt Flynn. He's the drummer from Maroon Five. Fucking forty year old guy, nice guy, married, mm-hmm. great guy. I'm standing there and I, I was drinking a little bit, and he's standing over. There. I didn't know he was the drummer. But There's I'm, actual rock stars there. Yeah, and Quinn's getting treated like more of a rock star. Yeah, it's weird. So he's great. Let me tell you why he's great. He is my Mark Consuelos. That's oh, yeah? the, that's it. That's the best way to put it. He's standing over, and I see him. I don't know what's him, but Sal goes, "Oh, that's the drummer from Maroon 5. So I said, "Oh shit, let me go over there." So I go over and interrupt this conversation. I say, "Matt, I said, uh, I'm sorry, my name's Brian, and he had already seen the clip at that point, so he knew that I wasn't just a crazy person. Plus, my stupid head was floating above him." So he says, uh, "He goes, yeah, hi, how you doing?" And I say, "Listen, when are you guys going on? Because my friend wanted to come. I told, I said, Stacy, I said, my friend Stacy wanted to come. She loves you guys. He goes, she doesn't love me." I go, no. I'm I said, the drummer. Yeah, it's what he said. He goes, I'm the drummer. He was so humble, dude. He got it. Like, he knew. You would like him. He, he was like the guy. He's like, I know. I'm the drummer from Rune 5. I got it. You know what I mean? And and he goes, uh, now nah, we're going on like 20 minutes. You won't make it from Staten Island. And I go, I go, shit. I go, I, and I told him the story because we started talking. He goes, you know what? He goes, um, we're playing Jones Beach. He goes, you got, you and Stacy are coming as my guest. And I was like, I was like, dude, I said, I appreciate you saying that right now. I was like, don't. This has happened to me before. Right. I was like, I was like, I was like, you don't have to do that. Please don't say that. Walt Flanagan once told me he was getting me passes into San Diego Comic Con. Right. <laughs> you know, don't tell me that, Matt. Uh, if if you're not going to do it, uh, you know, basically I told him we were we had a good rapport at that point. And he he calls over one of the true executives, and he, he took down her name. She took down his name. He goes, call her. She'll call me. I'll get you those tickets for Jones Beach. Um, you're going to be my guest. And I was floored floored and and he goes what are you trying to fuck this girl 
right? <laughs> and I go, well, yeah, but I said I'm not going to. No, no, no. <laughs> but like, well, you know, he's he's a real decent, nice guy. Like, there's nothing oh, this guy That was his way to find out what, if you're a straight. Yeah, he just wanted to know. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. He's not. That's not. Oh, okay. He goes, he he wanted to know why. And I said, no. I go, she's just a really good friend. I go, uh, she she helped me like through some hard times. Like, because Stacy can be a boy's name too. <laughs> <laughs> so so he goes, all right. She has, she she goes, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm gonna take care of you. Great. Maroon Five takes the stage, right? And and I, like now I'm enamored of the guy. The guy's great. I ended up. You're a big Maroon Maroon Five fan at this point. A big Maroon Five fan at this point, right? (laughs) And uh, and I talked to him for a little bit more. We joked around. Then he had to go on stage. So now Maroon Five's playing. And now this is where things start getting like a little sketchy, for me personally, (laughs) because now it's all girls. It's 200 girls go right up to the stage. Like there's not even a barrier. You know how sometimes there's a barrier between. Who are these girls? Like who are these people? They're just people who work for the network. People who work advertising for the for the you know for the the Taco Bell and shit like Mm -hmm. that. Whatever. And you (laughs) and me. Right. So right away it's kind of. But but it's also weird because these girls know who I am too, because they just watched clips of the show and we were introduced and stuff like that. And uh, so now it's I'm standing up there and my literally I'm my chest is touching the stage. Adam Levine's ball sacks like two feet from me, (laughs) right? And I'm looking past him. All the girls look at to see. My boy Matt trying to make eye contact with the trying. Drummer. We did it like four times. Like he's he's doing it solo, and he looks at me, and he gives me the old head the head nod and shit like that. And I'm like giving him a tip of the wink back Look to him. Like, wait, <laughs> right. So now oh, he's boy. married with kids. This guy is not is a. So then the show it ends. Right. I I'm don't remember a single song they played because I was you know. Stare, lost staring at my boy. Yeah, in the l- man's eyes. Lost in Matt Flynn's <laughs> drumming <laughs> skills. Drowned. Right. So the the set ends. Matt. Gets up, I can call him Matt because we're buddies. Uh, gets up, walks around from behind the drum set, walks up to me, and hands me the drumsticks that he was playing. Right, so not even like a real rocker doesn't throw him out to the crowd. Comes and hands it to me, and I take it from him. And there's like a two second pause where his hands on the drumsticks and my hands on the drumsticks. <laughs> You're thinking he's gonna be like, psych. <laughs> <laughs> no, and 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 he goes, uh, he goes, um, I see you, Jones Beach, and I go, yeah, thanks, buddy. I go, thank you. And then he lets go of the drumsticks and I take the drumsticks. And it was the gayest moment in my oh, entire yeah. life. Yeah. And I turn around and like there are – there are all these girls are staring at me. Now, they're already giving me special Gross. treatment, right? Because I'm you know, I'm on the show, that the, the, sh- the big show that they're pushing. But now on top of that, the drummer from Room 5 just came and handed me my drumsticks <laughs> and said, I'll see you at Jones Beach. So I'm like, all right, well, now I look like a dick. But I, I got Stacy the drumsticks. Mm-hmm. But I felt like a real dick, so I took one drumstick and I threw it into the crowd just to put out somebody's just, eye. <laughs> yeah, just, just, to try to, to, just to try to man up right, a little bit. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> I'm a half a fag now. <laughs> I mean, you could have been in a 69 with Elton John. Would have been as gay as that. <laughs> moments, like making moments, right? I'm telling with this you, guy. it was really weird. But the guy is fucking great. I have the drumstick. It's all beaten up. He signed it. I guess he signed it before, or it's just his model of drumstick. And uh, I called K- Stacy, and she's excited to go to Jones Beach and. uh and uh, he's he's please follow him on Twitter. If you see him, <laughs> if you see him, if you even talk about following us on Twitter, <laughs> follow us on Twitter. Let this guy know, please, please, that I that I that he's my Mark Consuelos. He is, he is. I I he I'm totally enamored of the guy. Completely down to earth. I didn't get any in a, any um outside invites. Yes, you did. What do you mean? Did I from Consuelos? Yeah, remember you said you were gonna come down and play hockey and right. everything. Oh, you I invited. Fo- I- you just never followed up on it. Yeah, that's true. Look, everything else. I yeah. Mark <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So at yeah. least you see, I don't discriminate. <laughs> <laughs> that was my. That was it, man. That was my moment. I had a moment with the drummer from Rune Five. Huh. There's a lot of girls that wish they could say that. A lot of girls. A lot of girls. Good looking guy too. I don't want to go too far into this territory, but like a lot of <laughs> girls. <already> <laughs> um, I hear a little bit of this. Let me see if I recognize it. Yeah. Or Walt. See if you recognize it. This has been in movies. This way, you might have heard it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They haven't mentioned Satan once. I'm not into it. Yeah, they're not your type of music at all. But they are a great, great band yeah. with excellent songs and a hell of a drum player. Oh, there you go, Quinn. Yeah.